there ever be a woman who is considered the Beyonce of hip hop MCs? So here's what I'll say. I'll say two women. All right. And y'all could y'all could judge me, whatever. I would say it's Nikki and I would say it's Missy. And here's mm. why. Oh. Here's why. Yeah. Even though Missy is very underrated from our Absolutely. generation back. Missy is the shit. Like yeah. Missy, okay. Missy influenced men and women in the in the hip hop industry. Missy, Missy the has the longevity of Beyonce. Um, she's been around for that. years. She she actually puts women together. Like if you notice, okay. like the tracks that she has, like Lady you know Marmalade, Marmalade, Ladies, Ladies Night, Night. Lady Ma- exactly. You <laughs> hip. And even some of her uh, her newer stuff, like a couple years ago, she put like Kim, Eve, and Trina on the same mm-hmm. track. So it's like. She has not only the woman empowerment thing going on, like Beyonce and the longevity, but her creativity made her last so long in this game. And also she from the, you know, she from Virginia. So, you know, I got to put a DMV oh, sis on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. so yeah. like yeah. the up, things that Missy has done, not only for the dance world, but hip hop in general, I feel like Absolutely. she could be the Beyonce as far as like women in hip hop. Uh, I would say Nikki, but I would say um, cause Nikki is a legend in our eyes, but she's not legendary across generations. Like for our generations and like younger, of course, but not for the older generations. That's what I'm saying. Like Nikki in the future, I think she will be like the Beyonce of I MC. Mean, I, can't I, personally I think take she's, I Nikki think she's as a legend just yet. Yeah, I because we went from here. So that's why I only say she's not just the- yet because we went from here in bar for bar hardcore Nikki mm-hmm. to this pop thing. Yeah, and I definitely. think when she got into that Pink Friday s- situation, it took away from that. Yeah. That, that hip hop legend. Um, like, I can't call her a legend just yet because her. there hasn't been so but many songs where be yeah, she's really going bar for bar. But let's be fair. The question is, is, is the she Beyonce. considered the Beyonce of hip hop? I got her what that means. But of hip hop. But think she, what that means. She said not yet, and I that's why I agree with her. It's like uh, I'll put her there, but for I now, need Missy more is there the for me. I need yeah. more I bar she for bar. She, she, she at the door. She at the door. I don't think she at the door. I think she got to she, she like, already no there. Like, what's, what's your opinion on that? They always say she about to break. I want to hear why you say that. She already there. I'm gonna be hundred percent. If you're gonna go off of what this question is asking, the Beyonce we talk when we talk about Beyonce level star power, we talking about the ability to to maintain and have a world tour. We talking about a large fan base. We talking about Merchandise and we I talking agree about on all films. those notes. She's done all that. I, I can agree on those, but she's I'm at the twilight of her career. She's not. She's not about to pop and be hot no more. I mean, I'm saying I can she's agree not. on those notes, but as far as music, I think she. I think she. she, can't she can't give me, me, yes. She you saying if Nicki was to drop an album bars. first quarter January out of nowhere on some black uh, on some uh mm-hmm. you know like a black album type thing, all new joints, all hot. You think she can't keep it? I think, her, I think her, I think her fan base will rock with it, but Nikki has has been dwindling a little bit. Like, because remember Absolutely. before Queen mm-hmm. came out, she she was dropping singles and yeah, it was, was duds. Singles. It was duds. They wasn't hitting. The only thing that was going was her features and Anaconda. The Anaconda was, was a gimmick. Anaconda, the gimmick record that popped. But what other records are Queen? You know that was that was jamming. Wait, 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 wait. Barbie Dreams was Barbie it. Barbie Dreams. Um, um, what was it? Chung Lee. Chung Lee was Chung Lee was the streets. streets. Like, I think we could go on a party right Not now and the streets, DJ gonna spin radio. that shit. Yeah. Because yeah. you can go to Beyonce, you can go to any party and play Beyonce. Whatever Beyonce song it is, you can drop the Beyonce ball and play five, six bands or songs straight, Absolutely. straight, straight. That's a good point. But I feel like you could take a little bit and if Beyonce drops Nikki something Light. tomorrow, they're gonna drop like she's nominated for I ain't even like the Black Parade song like that, but that's Grammy nominated. For I sure. Nicki Minaj ain't you know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj is the closest and I would say she's there in terms of hip hop. She's downstairs. I would say she's there in terms of hip hop. I think she's at the door now. I think she's I just, there. I just don't think she has enough bar for bar songs anymore to keep her there. To so keep you think her that's what it takes? I'm gonna keep it a stack. I'm saying stuff from has what, been lacking. From what her recent stuff yeah, is a little lacking. It's been lacking, but look, she still I'm, got bars, but it's a I little feel like lacking. It's just so like I recently worked in a strip club. I still do. I mean, because of the COVID, everything hey, stopped. Mm. I can still play her stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I still absolutely. get the same. But I'm saying as far as I still get the crowd jumping. Depending on what it is, of course, you gotta think about it. The environment I'm in, right. The same way I can play hot girls, mm. well, city girls, I'm sorry. <laughs> city girls and Megan. I can play a certain Nikki song and 
But that's the thing. Yeah. A certain Nicki song, you could play Even any Beyonce say. song and go hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you got to pick and choose your Nicki songs wisely because there's so many fluff tracks on her albums mm-hmm. that aren't hitting like that. Yeah. So who you who would you put? All right, now back to. The, I would yeah. say Nicki Minaj yeah. is the closest. I think Nicki Minaj is the. Closest. I would say that she's been there. And this is out of every. It, out of know, everybody, rap. I would yeah. say Nicki Minaj. Like I like the missing the Missy element was cool, but I can't say that Nicki. I mean. Missy has the longevity because if Missy drops because Missy's been trying to drop songs and mm-hmm. they ain't been cracking. Yeah, they've been I, doing a little Nikki, TikTok thing, yeah, but it if, ain't really. If, if Nicki mm-hmm. drops something, it'll make more noise than what Missy do. But I feel like Nicki's already been there. And in terms of hip hop as a whole, Nicki Minaj is the closest thing to a Beyonce that you will find in terms of female rappers. That's rapper. fair. Right, and that's it's, 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 it's Nicki, Beyonce, and Rihanna right now. Right. Right. To keep I it that fair. Old, 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 and I think if, I'm guarantee you, if she drop another album, I think she blowing the rate. But I can't say that that next album gonna be fire because every time. So? Every time either. they, every time Nikki coming out with something, yeah. they say, "Oh, this about to be the one. She about to be bar for bar, Nikki. We I, gotta get listen, itty bitty piggy." Want, and then I'm disappointed. I want, yeah. I want a ten track, nine track, just a rap, yes. just bar Nikki Minaj album. Yes. I feel the same way about Drake. I want just a nine track classic hip hop, okay. just ten songs. They got that piece that every time on the other side of the tracks. You know they got it. Nikki, I feel like Nikki owes us that. I feel like she owes us just. She owns is just bar. She, she like I just want ten songs, Griselda style, whatever. Yeah. No singing, well, no I thought none we was of that shit. Get that with the uh, the uh, the little beef with her and um, Remy, I thought we were going. to get that. We wasn't going to get that. So get disappointed. And niggas was like, oh, she won. She won because that was a radio record. But bar for bar, I think Remy won. Of okay, Remy. Remy. Bar for she bar. first this time. Remy, <laughs> like, Remy a better rap baby than Remy. That's all Nick, Remy needed was that one song. She ain't yeah. even come out with nothing. She ain't Exactly. She said she said crack. She said crack a bitch with my cell phone put her ass on FaceTime what <laughs> how do you come and back from that but the bad part is we all know from and then she had kind of sort of had help yeah. Yeah. and then she it. sort of had help she had was it with Wayne and Drake on the, on the joint too yeah. that's yeah. what he wasn't yeah. and but that's even that is a shot yeah yeah Man, listen. Coming from uh, she had the like that that was yeah. Wayne, Drake, like, and Nikki. That yeah. little song That's a that Remy dropped, it was like bar after bar. I was like, damn, so what is Nikki best? After, after Nikki, who y'all think has the potential to do it? Okay, I have two Who's people that up? I can stand Who's on their potential. In women in hip-hop. But I feel like it's real controversial. I'm tired of talking about these same Ooh. old ones that ain't really got nothing else <laughs> to show. Because whatever happens to Rat City and all Maybe, man, let's go. I'm ready. No, I'm absolutely right. not. I don't think that. Make me, make me if mad. anything, I didn't want to get up and walk off while we was recording. <laughs> I'm thinking. No, because that's Flo not Millie. fair. Flo Millie could do it. Flo, Flo Millie. Flo Millie could do Flo it. Flo and Millie I only shit. say Flo Millie because first of all, that girl's coming with a sound that ain't nobody heard before. Mm-hmm. Every track on that album is completely different. Mm. Beyonce stuff like she might have a few songs that sound alike or a few songs that's kind of about the same thing but you can never say every Beyonce song sound alike you think mm. Flo got that, the star power Beyonce she's getting there Did you know? and, I, and I say she's getting there because she's getting the these city girls Megan Thee Stallion everybody is coming behind this mm. girl mm. And, in a time where women rappers are not trying to support each other like that right and they (laughs) all stood down for Flo Millie like and this was her debut joint like how you coming with this many people supporting you off your debut joint like can I just say that that album was fire it was (laughs) May I is my jam yeah All right, who's who's the second one the second person okay let me explain first I'm talking in performance style only not the songs not her attitude outside of being an uh, artist but purely on performancing mm-hmm. because Beyonce is a performer right. right we have to put that element in there now I do not agree with this person in real life but we can't say that Doja Cat ain't been coming out with the fire performances this entire <sighs> COVID season she sang she the same feet. song she was showing feet in the virtual chat room but I'm saying <laughs> but, but listen to it but think about it strictly performances she performed yeah, performances. The, same, the same two songs and it was fun the rock version was hard okay the 1920s so, version that, that, when that she was, was in hard. there with her yeah. little no, flapper that skirt was fine. that thing I don't, consi- I don't consider her a rapper though. But I only, no, 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 I don't consider her a rapper. I don't consider her a rapper, 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 but I'm saying as far as she performances, she, she can definitely perform. Can, she she's, perform. Outper- she's outperforming all the girls. Her feet. All she, she do show her little picky toes, <laughs> but you know, they all doing something weird. 
I feel JT you. dating Uzi. That's, that's, that's true. Sure enough. Well, he, got, he got money. I can't, you me? Yeah, I can't really say who's going to come up next because it's, first of all, it's too many of them. I'm trying to go through the list like, all right, Rico Nancy, uh, Tia Black. This, like, I really don't know. The see, only this the future thing, could tell. This, this what, like, he, what, what he put on there and I almost forgot. They say, all right, mm-hmm. man, why is Beyonce important to the music world? And the Shit. other one was well, women MCs who compare now work ethic, body positivity message mm-hmm. in their music. Mm. Uses attention. The only I can't see that good. Uh, <laughs> when it's okay. Um, Body positivity. Uh, uh, work yeah. ethic is Nikki. Yes. Yeah. I mean, well, obviously, Uses we put Nikki up there. Good right. Everybody can agree on Nikki. Uplifts the black community. I think that's Uplifts the. Uplifts the black. Yeah, community? I think that's the big one. So. <laughs> I think that that cancels a lot of people. That cancels, that cancels a lot. Just, yeah. It's still Nikki up there. It's still. <laughs> but is like, she Missy? Is she really you had to pull somebody from the underground up there. I think it would really have to be Missy as far as bringing the black community. Yeah. Because yeah. Can we really say I that say Nikki Queen hasn't Latifah, been divisive? She made a joint in so long, she, but she, Nikki she, has she, been she, beefing yeah. with every she got the single longevity. person. Yeah. Missy be putting the new girls on her shit. And mm-hmm. so Nikki put the new girls on her shit, but it's like Missy be showing more love to Nikki to doing it because hip-hop. you yeah. now need to give her your loyalty. Yeah. And it's like and you can't make a song with nobody that she's beefing yeah. with because now the barbs are gonna get you. I yeah, feel like- and it's like that's that's the only thing, like that's why uh you know, like Nikki, I will always respect what she does in Absolutely. her career, but her fans are super crazy. Like you can't say nothing about <laughs> it. You can't say, "Oh damn, Nikki, you ain't paid your toes today." They be like, "Bitch, die!" Like, exactly. where did that come from? Like, they, they gonna eat have, it. They then again, the beehive, the beehive, just as crazy. They just gonna sing to me. And that's why I say that's, and that's, that's close. That's a good point that's that's that he made about the fan base. The fan base she's there. Compares to Beyonce's, they go crazy for her, bro. Close, and I guess you could say. I'm giving Cardi is Cardi she needs she needs to Cardi would ever be in that lane because honestly when we really get down to it Cardi and she's a complete the upbringing is different complete opposite it's the complete opposite Beyonce was never in nobody's strip club Beyonce was never given red bars. But if bars, you actually like, look at it, there's, technically there's, you can use that and call that the American dream. She yeah. came from yeah. the there's, there's the way two, she at. They're both selling sex. That's the thing. Beyonce didn't come from nothing. They're both selling sex. Yeah. 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 They're both selling sex. But Beyonce didn't come from nothing. But Beyonce there's is doing it in a way. Beyonce came from a well-raised two-parent household that had money. Still selling sex. Still selling sex. I'm not even looking at their background because we're not saying a clone. we saying like But I'm just saying in that sense, like because of what Cardi brings, because of what Cardi's been through and what she brings to her music because of her past they could never be in that same realm to me they, they mm-hmm. gotta be that's famous. why I say you can use that as the American dream scenario yeah right that's there. what I'm saying yeah. I feel like Cardi's more the American dream than being the next Beyonce, Beyonce of hip hop because Nikki yeah. it's like yeah. Nikki and Beyonce seem untouchable exactly yeah. so she like she had, the, the had the great doors were support already from open before her she even could walk exactly yeah. Yeah. the door so they exactly. was waiting so and, it's a and people tend to say you could have like you know how all right, so when we pick a president, right? They're like, oh, you can have a beer with him. With rappers, it's kind of like, Cardi is like your homie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? She feels more of a homie than a Beyonce or Nicki because they feel untouchable. They feel exactly. like, They're oh, so I can't distance sit next to them. The like, oh, I gotta be, res- you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You walk in the room, you're like, can I even address her? Right. But with Cardi, it's like, Cardi, Cardi gonna address like you first. everybody's <laughs> friend. That's the way they, they market yeah, Cardi, her. That's Cardi, the way like her brand the is. is Car- you know? Cardi, Cardi B is definitely like the homie. She's like the... The homie for real, for and real. in that yeah. sense, I would put Cardi with like maybe a Missy, because Missy mm. is the homie. Missy yeah. been the homie. Missy is everybody's exactly. homie. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, so yeah, so, I guess so. That's just so like, safe yeah. to say that Nikki is close to it. Yeah, I'm still leaving. I'm her saying, on that. I'm saying Nikki made it to the mountaintop, and now she's descending from that mountaintop. Okay. But she will. I feel like since she already she's had the similar successes Beyonce, she is the Beyonce of hip hop. Okay. Even though she's in the twilight of her career, she will continue to be that until someone surpasses her or meets her level. And I still you, you little Kobe, it's hard to say. We got we need a couple more years to see if yeah. these new girls can do it. I'm just a Missy Elliott fan, so I'm a little biased. But Nikki is definitely. Up second, she, like, I feel like she's second. the closest one. Yeah. I'm not you know. giving it to her just yet because I still need to see real hip hop music from her. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I, I because really I mean, it, we I can't don't. sit here and say that these Pink Friday albums wasn't all pop. That's true. That's why pop, I'm saying, yeah. like, I can't say that just yet because when it comes down to real hip hop bar for bar, Nikki hasn't produced. 
You right. Yeah. And not she ever. We're not saying ever. Not ever. We're but saying she hasn't made the like, mark in yeah. this time where she's skyrocketed. She yeah. didn't skyrocket off a of bar. She skyrocketed oh. off of matte lipstick and pink colognes and princess. That's, that's, a part, and that's a part of being here. But I'm saying, like, we're, 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 that's one other thing. That's more mm-hmm. marketing and taking advantage of the opportunities. But I'm gonna just, you know what I'm saying, Nikki's being a mainstream artist. Right, right.